Hello everyone, welcome back to Edema's Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to shorten a dress and this same principle will probably also apply to trousers and shirts. If you're a short girl like me, uh, you'll often find that in order to get the right size for your hips, your breasts or whatever, you need to maybe go a size up but the shirt or the dress or whatever may be too long for you. And I've had this multiple times and I've done this multiple times so I thought this time I share this with you. And the garment I want to shorten is the dress you saw last week. And I hope that I can teach you how to do this yourself and it will save you a lot of um, money maybe. Also you won't have dresses and, and trousers that are too long. For this first step it is handy to get a friend to help you um, because you sort of need to put on the garment and then determine how long you want it to be. And if you're doing this yourself you'll notice that once you are starting looking down like how long do I want my, um, my dress to be, it sort of bends down and it looks longer than it actually is. So it is handy if you have someone to help you or if you can get one of these things. I'll put in a picture. That is a uh, a tool that dressmakers use to get a straight chalk line on a dress or um, a skirt. So it's all the same length and you know where to cut to. Do be aware when you're pinning it uh, to the desired length that you need to add a bit of allowance for the for the hem. So make sure that you um, leave enough for that. But I'll go through that as we, as we get along. First of all, I'm going to put on the dress and determine how long I want it to be. As you can see, this dress is a little bit long on me. I think I just wanted to fall over the knee, so about there. But as you can see, once I bend down, the dress will go down as well. So what you can do is stand in front of a mirror, sort of look where on your body you would like it to be, pin it, stand upright again and check if it's right. Um, you don't have to pin the entire dress in one go, you can also just sort of see how much that actually is you want to take off, and then measure out the rest with a, with a tape measure. So I think about here is where I want it to be. Now I'm going to stand upright again and as you notice it did, did slide up a bit so I may have to go down a little bit about there. So about knee much. Once you've figured out how much you want to take off your dress, um, like I said it's much easier if you get a friend or a family member to help you. Um, then you can just lay your garment flat I'm going to try and do this on my work surface so I can film it properly for you, but this might be easier to do on the ground. Then you just measure out that same distance that you figured out all along the edge. But do take note because you want the hem uh, to be about one centimeter and you need to double it over twice. So I add at least two centimeters for um, hem allowance. And uh, so I measured out I wanted 12 centimeters shorter than it currently is, but since I need two centimeters um, for the hem, I will be taking off 10 centimeters along the edge. So take a tape measure and measure 10 centimeters from the bottom and put a pin in there and do that all the way along the edge. Once you got it all pinned out, um, lay it flat on the floor like I did and now you have a choice. You can either cut both layers in one go, but then you make, need to make absolutely sure it's aligned properly <laughs> or you can uh, just um, do it one side at a time and that's probably the safer option. But since I've done this quite a few times, I'm just going to chance it and make sure that I have both sides absolutely aligned and just cut it in one go. So, here we go. This is the scary part. And this is what I have left over. And I'm gonna keep this because I waste not one knot 
if I ever need uh, a nice polka dotted fabric, I have some. Now the next step uh, is to pin and iron the hem. So what I'm going to do is fold over the edge once and then twice for the hem. A small folded hem and then pin it into place and I'm pinning it like this because it's easier in the sewing machine to take out the pins later on. Sorry, the other way around. <laughs> I was doing this wrong. If you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself you can use an iron to flatten out that seam. And But if you're doing this make sure you have a um, pin with a glass head on it because if you have a plastic one it may melt. Are we there yet? <laughs> Not quite. After half of a dress I figured it was easier to sort of like first lay it flat then flatten it round. Try and sort of keep a curve and keep going like that until you are completely round and then we'll start sewing. Before you start sewing it's always a good idea to test your uh, stitch out on a piece of scrap fabric. Now the stitch is slightly smaller than the one that was used in the original, so I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. Yep, that looks good on both sides. What I like to do when I'm stitching stuff like this is try and keep the side of my um, sewing machine foot, I don't know what you call it, um, on the edge of the fabric and have my needle sort of come down on the folded part. So I'm going to position it there, make it fix. By the way, for those of you interested, this sewing machine is a Husqvarna Viking H-Class, which is the sort of lower end of the uh, Husqvarna uh, sewing machines. And it's sort of catered toward people that like to do machine quilting, because it has a lot of different stitches. But it is one of their simpler models, and also therefore cheaper. See, the reason I pinned it this way is that if I go over it, you usually don't break your needle. You still might want to just take it out before you do that, but just to show you, you can actually sew over it if you're so inclined. I'm not going to just take them out before I get there. And as you can see, I sort of keep the dress at a curve. Because um, the, the lower edge obviously of the dress is bigger than the what you're sewing it onto. So you're trying to divide a little bit of extra fabric here under this fold. So if you keep it at an angle like this, it will will be neater. look like when it's shorter. Uh, I think it looks uh, a lot more in style and I think it will look lovely with the petticoat sticking out from underneath. If you got this uh, little um, tutorial on how to shorten a dress or maybe you can apply the techniques also to skirts or trousers, uh, if you found this useful please give me a thumbs up and also check out my social media, they're linked up on the banner and I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone!